Hey all mathematics lovers, it's me Robi. Welcome back. This is a series of natural numbers and this series go up to the infinity. Would you please tell me what do you think? What's the result of this series? I know you would say the result of this series is infinite, right? <laughs> but would you believe if I say if we do summation of this number, the result will be minus 1 over 8. It seems like insane thinking, right? If you continue this series, the result will be minus 1 over 8. That I'm gonna to prove now. So if you want to see how do I prove this infinitely long series is equal to minus 1 over 8, stick with me. Next few minutes. Well, let's rewrite this series again. Let us consider this series is equal to s. This is a random parameters I'm taking just for uh, making it simplification. So this series is equal to s. Now what we have to consider, let us consider these three numbers are together, that three numbers are together and that three number, that three number that three number and this series is continuously going up to the infinitely long distance. I'm considering this first digit alone and let's do a summation of this three digit. Summation of two, three and four is equal to nine and summation of five, six, seven is equal to 18. And similarly, summation of this part is equal to 27 and summation of that part is equal to 36 and summation of that part is equal to 45 and so on. It's continuously going up to the infinity. I'm consider only this part. Keep this first digit alone here and take a nine common from rest of the part. If I take a nine common from here, this nine become one, 18 become two, 27 become three, 36 become four, 45 become five, plus dot dot up to infinity. Now, this is the interesting part. Look at here. This means one plus two plus three plus four plus five, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus dot dot and up to infinity. This is equal to that series at the beginning of our consideration. This is equal to S. So I can substitute this part by S. That means one plus nine times S right so what i got here this part means s s is equal to 1 plus 9 s if i rearrange it a little bit you will see 1 is equal to 9 s minus this part that side by minus s so i can say minus 8 s is equal to 1 or s is equal to minus 1 over 8. Yes, this is the answer. That means this series is equal to minus 1 over 8. Seems like <laughs> something is wrong here, right? So if you know where exactly is the wrong, you can write it in the comment section. Of course, this is not the only one method. I have another method to prove that this series is equal to minus 1 over 8. Let's see, how do I prove using another method? Let's rewrite this series again. Let's consider again this series is equal to S as well. In this case, let's consider this first two digit together and next five digit do summation together, add this five digit together up to infinity and let's see what's happened. If you do summation, one plus two is three, the summation of three, four, five, six and seven is 25, the summation of this part is equal to 50. Summation of that part is equal to 75 and dot 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 up to infinity. Now, this is interesting part that's coming. Let's keep these three alone and take 25 common from rest of the series. If I take a common from rest of the series, then this 25 become one, this 50 become two, this 75 become three and next turn is four and five and plus dot dot up to infinity. Interestingly, look at here. This part is equal to that part. That means this part of our series is equal to S. So I can replace this part by S. So, so next statement become three plus 25 S, right? because this one plus two plus three, this series I consider at the beginning, this is equal to S. I can say S is equal to this. S is equal to three plus 
25 s this is final result we got if you do a simple rearrange from this side and that side then it will be um, 3 is equal to s minus 25 s so right hand side become minus 24 s i can write minus 24 s is equal to 3 or s is equal to minus 3 over 24 this means this 3 and this 24 they cancel each other and remaining is 8 and its result is 1 over 8 yes so s means minus 1 over 8 which is equal to this series so this second method also proved that this series is equal to minus 1 over 8 is not it interesting well if you think in general way you will think that this series is equal to infinity it will be very very large number that is not countable right this is very normal thinking according to the conventional mathematics but i prove by two different methods that this series is equal to minus 1 over 8 definitely i admit it something is wrong in this cal calculation according to the conventional mathematics that means i did not follow the ground rules of mathematics somewhere in this entire calculation so your task is if you know where exactly is the mistake you can write it in the comment section that's your task it's pretty simple very simple just come in the comment section and discuss it i will tell you where exactly is the mistake well i have an interesting thing to show you let's consider this is a square the diagonal length of this square is x how do you calculate the area of this square you would say okay this is very simple right you can calculate the area of this square is equal to the diagonal length divided by square root 2 which is equals to length of this one side if you do a square of this length which is equals to this area of this total square and this is the way according to the conventional mathematics but i have a very simple matrix that will take only five seconds to calculate the total area of this square you can believe it right okay let's see let's consider this x this diagonal length of this x is equal to five so according to the conventional way traditional way let's see how much time it takes to calculate this area of this square this diagonal length is x that means according to the conventional way area is x means 5 over square root 2 and you have to do a square if you use the calculator the result is 12.5 square let's say centimeter it takes at least one minute to calculate u the total area of this square but i know a very simple trick this is my way of tricks if you know the diagonal length as i told you five you have to multiply it with its half that means half of five means 2.5 five times 2.5 which is equals to 12 point five yes this is the answer look at here this is the conventional way and this is my way just tell me which one is very simple my way or the conventional traditional way <laughs> definitely it is very simple let's do another example let's say x is that means this diagonal distance is equal to let's say um, 10 10 centimeter so according to this way area is 10 over square root 5 then it's whole square which is equals to 50 that means according to this way you need 30 to 50 seconds to calculate it let's see my way how do i calculate it? very simple as i told you just place this length and multiply this length by its half that means half of 10 means it's 5 so 10 times 5 is 50 yes this is the answer is not it simple <laughs> let's say um the diagonal length is six you have to um multiply it by it half that means three three times six is 18 yes this is the answer is not it simple so you will um think which way you will choose this traditional conventional way or the way that i showing you definitely i believe this way is very simplest than the that way so it's up to you which way you will use to calculate the total um uh, area of this square 